Hey, set your mind right now. Nothing before this matters. We came here with everything still on the line. Everything you wanted. Everything you wanted in the offseason is still out in front of you. What would you give for that moment right now? Let's go, man. Let's go. What is good Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Alex. I am back with yet another video for you guys. In this video guys we're going to be talking about the latest Raider news and it involves wide receiver Devontae Adams man. I'm going to be talking about you know some of the things that came out you know what I think this really means you know in terms of Adams potentially becoming a Las Vegas Raider. So yeah man before we you know jump into this topic once again, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys love Raiders related content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But with that being said, let's jump right into it. So according to JT the Brick, who is a member inside the Raiders organization, he basically came out and said that he believes that the Raiders, look, they're still in the, the stakes for Devontae Adams and this coming off season. And that's interesting to hear. But also another thing that I think is definitely huge is that um, Hondo, who was an insider for the Raiders, he was asked a question on what players, if he thinks any players would be willing to take a hometown discount to come play for the Raiders. And he said, yeah, man, he believes there's one specific player that would definitely do that. And that is Derek Carr under the condition that the Raiders go out and get Devontae Adams. And personally, man, if Derek Carr is willing to take less, to bring in Devontae Adams that really is huge that really makes this a legit possibility because recently with the reports coming out that Derek Carr was gonna want somewhere in the range of 40 million dollars at that point if you got to pay Derek Carr 40 million and then you got to pay Devontae Adams 30 million that's 70 million dollars between two players I don't think that's the best you know move for the Raiders at this moment that's something you do when you're just when you're like just one piece away from being a legit Super Bowl uh, candidate at the wide receiver position and I don't think the Raiders are at that point in this moment so Derek Carr let's just say he takes he's willing to take 30 million dollars per year another 30 for Devontae that that can most definitely work now another thing that really makes this uh, a legit possibility of Devontae Adams coming to the Raiders is that the Packers GM actually came out and said that he doesn't want to use the franchise tag on Devontae Adams. Uh, he wants to try to extend Devontae Adams and look me personally man Devontae Adams is not going to you know stay with Green Bay unless Aaron Rodgers returns and look Aaron Rodgers future is very uncertain right now. Um, a lot of people think he might retire some people think he might go to a different team tampa the broncos whatever man the point is if aaron Rodgers is gone i'm, I'm almost certain that Devonte adams is not going to want to stay in green bay so if and also you got to look at it green bay has been in salary cap hell lately um they haven't used the franchise tags in years and the last time was like in 2010 so that is huge man because before I wanted Devontae Adams. I was with the thought process of Jim Harbaugh was going to come in. We we're going to run like a more pro style offense, you know, with McDaniels coming in, you know, with not necessarily needing a true number one wide receiver with him demanding $30 million per year with also the thought process that, you know, you're most likely going to have to give up some draft capital. I said, you know what, at this point, maybe it's, it's likely not very realistic that Devontae Adams signs and him honestly it's not the best move for the Raiders at this moment basically put it like this if Devontae Adams hits the open market you know no strings attached no you don't have to give up no draft capital for him I think the Raiders become a serious front runner for Devontae Adams man I mean Las Vegas right now is a really good destination for most free agents not only is it you know no state income tax just in general man this is a very good situation for most players not only that he gets to reunite with Derek Carr you know one of his best friends they got that connection from college 
that would work very well. And then ultimately, man, what makes it work is if Derek Carr is willing to take a pay cut for Devontae Adams. Because Devontae Adams, I don't think he's going to, I don't think we're, there's going to be no way in hell we get him for less than $30 million. You know, some people have been saying, well, if he only, if he takes $25 million, that's, you know, at the end of the day, he's still going to make more money than making 30 from another team. Which is, yeah, that is true. But I, and this is just pure speculation on my part. I believe that Devonte Adams, he wants to be the highest paid wide receiver in the history of NFL. Like basically, he wants to be the highest paid on paper. He wants to reset the market at the wide receiver position. So that's why I really don't think we're gonna be able to get him for less than thirty million. But man, as I said, if Devonte Adams becomes a legit free agent, man, that's when things are really gonna heat up. And I, I think we got a serious chance at signing him to this team ultimately man we have to wait till free agency um we have to wait to see what aaron Rodgers does that'll really tell us everything like i said if Devonte adams can hit that open market i think the raiders you know do not be shocked if we somehow some way make the move to get Devonte adams on this team but you guys you guys let me know in the comments down below when you know what you guys think of the whole situation do you guys think you know the possibility of adams coming to the raiders you know has increased with these the latest news coming out um also do you guys legitimately think that Devonte adams will not get franchise tagged by the green bay packers you know let me know in the comments down below uh with that being said guys that is all i have for you guys in this video once again for anybody that is new to the channel and you guys love raiders related content like this make sure to subscribe to the channel like this video and comment down below like i said but with that being said i will see you guys in the next one